Well, it often gets overlooked, but our front and our back lawns are our home's crowning glory. And if yours is looking a little patchy, here's the good news. According to Gavin from Olsen Landscapes, getting lawn savvy and following a few routine steps can help you achieve a great lawn. Gavin, is it really that easy? Morning, Mel. Yes, it is that easy. Generally, it's just regular mowing, regular maintenance, feeding twice a year, and um, a bit of weeding as well. So. so you make it sound really, really easy. So let's go back to basics. What are our options? Options. So you can you can grass seed your lawn, um, but at the moment, generally through the country, it's just getting a bit too cold to do that. That will be a very slow take. So you can then you can get uh, ready lawns, which is uh, basically a roll-out lawn. Um, comes in one square metre rolls. Gives you an instant lawn effect. Really great. Um, and then if you want really low maintenance, you can have an artificial turf. Okay, but yeah. artificial turf does still look artificial, doesn't it? Definitely looks artificial, yeah. I like the idea of the rolling out the grass. Is that easy to maintain? Like, it's hard, when I say, I'm useless with things like this, no green thumbs, would I kill it when I'm trying to, when I'm trying to plant it? No, no, it's just getting that, that lawn nice and level, a bit of weed-free lawn mix underneath. Um, nice and compacted, get your levels right, um, so there's nice falls, so the water runs away, but right. no, you won't kill it. Okay, okay, well that's <laughs> what you say, you haven't seen my lawn. I want to know a little bit about the different kinds of grasses, because there are different kinds of grasses. Yep. How do you know what's going to suit your lawn the best, or suit you the best? It's all different types of varieties of grasses, it all depends on where you live and what the type of environment you live in and what you want to achieve out of your lawn. If it's hard wearing for your kids, you might get a kaikuya lawn, or a fine fescue if you want to like a putting green lawn, um, so many different ways to do it. The best way is to get sort of advice on your local supplier near to you so and go from there. What about the soil? Does that have anything to do with it? I live in quite a volcanic area. Soil? Yeah, definitely. Um, every soil is going to bring up weeds. It's good to uh, kill off all those weeds before you decide to start a new lawn. Uh, and to get a bit of a weed free lawn mix over the top um, and then you're away, should be away. So. Okay, so I've got my lawn down, I've, I've, I've used the seed of whatever, probably kukuya grass, whichever is like the hardest wearing. How do I then look after it? Uh, it's just pretty much you've got to get your watering system right. So right now it's sort of, it's just in the morning and in the evening, don't overwater it, so otherwise it will just wash it away. But right now it's still not a good time to seed your lawn. Um, so wait till it's a bit warmer. Wait so wait through winter, That's right. deal with your dodgy lawn and yep. sort it out before summer? That's correct, yep. Um, get your lawn in and then it's all about regular, regular mowing. Mm -hmm. That's probably the main thing you could do is regular mowing. So you don't want to overcut it. Um, and like twice a week in summer and three times a week in sort of winter. Or three, sorry, every three weeks in winter. So. Twice a week in summer? That's no, every two weeks oh, in summer, sorry. Cool. I was about to say, I am really, really under mowing <laughs> my lawn if that is the case. But keeping on top of mowing is probably the best thing, to keep down weeds and... Um, okay, so don't let it rough. get up to your knees, which I may or may not have done in the past. <laughs> that would be your advice? Yeah, then you're going to have to get someone in to cut it then. <laughs> yeah, that's when you get a man, and that is exactly when you get a man. And okay, so there's a, there's a few things that you recommend product-wise. What's the best thing to get? Um, through Yates is a good system to get uh, just like a weed and feed and that will help um, fertilise your lawn and get rid of some of your weeds as well. Um, they do do a product called um, Turf Fix which will get rid of all your broadleaf weeds, um, your thistles and dandelions and okay. things like that. Get rid of the prickles. No one wants prickles no, in their feet, that's no. for sure. Well, you've brought in some special treats for us as well today. Thank you so much for all of your weeding no advice and your grass advice. I really do feel quite bad about my lawn now. No photos of it ever. Now, what we need to do is, audience, look under your seat, and whoever's got a card taped to their seat, uh, you are going to get a prize pack. Let's have a look. Whoa. to the Olsen Landscapes website and email the words Luscious Lawns for your chance to win two more prize packs. Gavin, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Now.